What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I've had this idea for a little while, but I'm gonna bring it to you now in this video. It's basically my training course for MLB The Show 21. It's a practice course, it's a warm-up course. Think the edit and aim maps in Fortnite. I'm gonna set up a series of challenges for you in this video to improve your game. Now, if anyone can complete these challenges, please, please record a video of it, put it all together so i can see it i will be super super impressed but let's go ahead and get into this now the first thing you need to do is go up in the settings tab on the top right of the main screen you're gonna go to the settings you're gonna go to the sliders what you're gonna do with these sliders is you're going to turn the cpu power all the way up the cpu timing all the way up the cpu solid hits all the way up and the cpu fastball pitch speed all the way up make sure that you save it as well then you're going to go into your settings you're going to go to gameplay you're going to turn your hitting difficulty to a legend and you're going to turn your pitching difficulty to a legend hit back then hit back again apply changes make sure you have those saved now it's really important from this screen that you don't go back into diamond dynasty or anything because if you go into diamond dynasty it's going to remove your sliders it's going to remove stuff like that so make sure you just go straight down to custom practice mode once we get to custom practice mode, we're going to go over to the left and we're going to go to the New York Yankees. We're going to select the Yankees. There we go. Then we're going to go over to the right, go to the Royals, and then we're going to hit R1 twice. And we're going to go to the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Once we have the Naturals selected, we're going to go ahead and hop into the game. Pick whatever stadium you want and let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna work on our hitting and we're gonna work on our pitching in this video. So the first thing that we wanna do is select a practice type and we're gonna go to batting. We're going to select Witt Jr. We're gonna select Bobby Witt Jr. The pitcher we want to select is Cole. We want to select the four seam fastball and then all we're gonna select here is inside. So we're gonna focus on turning on pitches on the inside. So challenge number one is to hit a fastball right on right for one home run. You gotta hit one home run. Once you do that, you move on. Make sure you hit the start button or the options button to start the practice as well. You can see our PCI is very small. We know it's gonna be on the inside half. We're gonna to try to hit a home run. It's pretty dang quick. It is pretty dang quick. I'm gonna see if I can do it. I'll let you know how long it takes me. That is so fast. I actually hit one the other way that time. Making small improvements here. I'm trying not to cheat with my PCI either. I'm just leaving it in the middle. We got one back up the middle and we actually had good time. We, our timing was almost on point. We hit that one pretty good. We are just late on it, but th that's actually, that wasn't too bad. Oh, right back up the middle. We just rocked it right at Garrett Cole. We actually pulled that pitch. So we've been doing this about three minutes. Now we're on time really work on just trying to pull this pitch don't shoot it to right field pull it to left field the best that you can all right that's a pretty good swing now let's set up the next part so we're still batting here we're going to go ahead and select miller because he's a lefty and we're going to select a roldis chapman we're going to go all inside and we're gonna go all four seam fastballs. Again, our goal is to hit one home run. Neither Witt or Miller have good hitting stats whatsoever, so it makes it even harder. It is real, real fast. This is one of the toughest things to do in the game. It's hit fast pitches left on left that are inside. Also, if anyone's able to complete this entire course, upload the video so I can see it because I would love to see that as well. I'm going to try to complete it at some point this year, but really, if you can't hit the home run, just try to get some solid contact. Try to pull the ball to the right side. I actually put the ball in play. It feels like such a win when you do. That time I just tried to sell out and be as early as I possibly could just to get the timing and the feel of that. Put it in play, actually we fouled it off. As 
So that one is really, really tough. I can't even put the ball. I can't even pull the ball on that. That's why it's such a good practice warm up. Because if you're able to do that on this, you're going to be able to go on the game, play like All Star or Hall of Fame, and you're just going to be incredible. For our next setup here, we're going to stay with batting, and then we're going to go to Corey Kluber. We're just going to select the sinker, and we're going to go all inside sinkers. Look at the movement on that pitch, man. We got it. We got it in play. I'm happy. I'll take that. We had good timing. We are just a little bit over the top of it. I have my X button macro to R2 as well. Check out my hitting tips video for more information on how to do that. Seemingly makes my timing a little bit quicker because I use my index finger instead of my thumb. We almost got the home run, but I use my index finger to hit R2 instead of my thumb hitting X. I feel like it's a little bit faster. Man, that is that has some nasty break on it. So I think you're starting to get the idea. So let me show you the rest of the course. So you're gonna go practice time batting. You're going to go to the pitcher again. You're gonna go to Chapman. And this time you're gonna work on sinkers on the inside and then put Miller back up again versus him left on left. Then you're gonna go wit again with Cole, sliders all away, sliders all on the outside, left on left, all sliders away. Okay, so now let's talk about pitching. We're gonna go practice type, we're gonna go to team practice, we're going to go to defense. The pitcher that we're going to select is we're going to select this Kuma guy because he has a bunch of different pitches that we can practice. We'll start off with LeMayhew. We'll go repeat no. We'll set none of these runners on and we'll start with zero outs. So our first challenge here is to strike out three batters with analog. I can't believe it, but we actually struck him out. We actually struck him out on our first try. That's fantastic. And we did not get the strike out there. That's going to be another base hit for the CPU. And another hit for the CPU. Also check out my hand cam tutorial if you want help with analog pitching. Show you exactly how to dot up better. CPU is just crazy though. I thought I was about to get strikeout number two, but they ended up hitting a home run off of me for a grand slam. All right, the next part of the challenge is to go into the options and go over to pinpoint pitching. And you're going to try to get three strikeouts using pinpoint pitching. I really, really need to work on my pinpoint pitching as well. So this is like a perfect way to try and do that. My pinpoint pitching is not very good. This guy has a splitter also, which is one of the toughest pitches to throw with pinpoint. Look at the CPU just going crazy. He's kind of got every pitch that you would want to practice in pinpoint. He's got the four seam, the splitter, the two seam, the curveball, and the cutter. The CPU is not out here playing games. Anyways, you're going to try to get three strikeouts of the CPU. And your last challenge is to pitch three innings worth, get nine outs before giving up one run. So if you can complete all these challenges, you're going to be amazing at the game. These are very, very difficult challenges to accomplish. What I would really recommend is just trying to pull the ball when the pitches are on the inside. You know, if you're working on that fastball inside or you're working on that sinker inside and then with the sliders away, just try to make solid contact because those are going to be the main combos that you're going to see. And then with pitching, just try to stay on the edges, work your pitches, try to strike out this computer. If you're doing that, you're going to go online and just absolutely dominate. But let me know again, if anyone completes this, let me know. I'm going to put the checklist up as well real quick. I'm gonna put the checklist up on the screen. So just see if you can complete these. And if you need more tips and tutorials, check out my YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace out.